It has been one year since La Crosse County declared racism as a public health crisis, but what has been done about that? News 8 Now's Emily Haugen asked the County Board Supervisor who asked for that declaration. She is live in our studio with his response and community reaction. Amy and Ken, over the past year, board member Rick Cornforth says work has been done to combat racism, but it's all been behind the scenes. Some argue that isn't enough. Just under a year ago, the La Crosse County Board declared racism as a public health crisis. It's brought attention to these situations, um, the data in our county. Data like people of color face higher infant mortality rates. Graduation rates are considerably lower for black students and life expectancies of black Americans are six years lower than white Americans. Data County Board Supervisor Rick Cornforth says affects everyone. There are systems in place that were developed 100 years ago that um, maybe benefited one population more than another. Diana Diaz Granados sees the data firsthand as a mental health professional and is grateful steps have been taken. It's extremely gratifying to see the amount of public support. But one year later, the council is still in its planning stages. We have studied for a year how to get a grip on racism. Diaz Granados argues there's no time to waste. We can't let you know, the perfect get in the way of, of the good. Kids are, are suffering. Um, our community members are struggling. Meeting after meeting to, to make a decision on what we can do is um, unfortunately wasting valuable time. The board says still the time they're taking is purposeful. So in, intrinsic in so many ways, it takes a while to, to understand and to get a grip on what we feel like we can do about it as a, as a county board. Cornforth says he's hopeful new board members will read the resolution and work to understand it so progress is made. But until then, it is unclear how soon change will come to La Crosse County. Amy and Ken. All right, thanks, Emily. And Cornforth says the board is looking into what works in other counties that have also declared racism as a public health crisis. And he says this will help guide the board going forward.